I'm Dr. Gary Alter, a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. I've seen and used the Kotler nasal airway on multiple occasions, and I must say it is a definite improvement in the patient's post-operative care. The patient is able to breathe through his or her nose with sinus surgery and after any kind of nasal surgery. I highly recommend it. I'm Dr. Robert Kotler, Beverly Hills, California. I'm a board-certified head and neck surgeon with fellowship training in facial plastic surgery. I've performed over 4,000 nasal procedures in 42 years. That includes both my military and civilian career. But I want to tell you a story about what stimulated me to develop the Kotler nasal airway. In 2007, a 29-year-old young man came in to see me for consultation for revision surgery. He had had a previous rhinoplasty and septoplasty done elsewhere, and he wasn't satisfied. And he was uh, not wrong. The airway was not good. The look wasn't right. And I said, I can make it better. We'll open up your airway, get you a better nose. And he said to me, great doctor, but there's one thing. Are you going to have to put packing into my nose? And I said, well, yes, of course. That's what we do routinely. He said, well, guess what? No way. And he turns to the consultation room door and says, you see that door? And I said, yes. He says, I'm out of here. Just like that. And I said, really? I said, you're not going to consider the surgery because of the packing, the post-operative four to five days that it has to be in place? He said, yep, you got it. He says, anything but that. I said, now you're going to go the rest of your life with difficulties breathing, probably sinus problems ultimately, and you're still not happy with the way you look, and that's what you want? He said, yep. I cannot tolerate the packing. Well, that made me think that somehow it's unfortunate that this young man would miss the opportunity to breathe better and look better because of only what happens after surgery. The surgeries are good. It's the post-operative period that seems to be a problem. And I realized that other patients, or prospective patients, had also been concerned about that. And that's what led to our developing the Kotler nasal airway.